a backwards hat type of day today. I'm on like two hours of sleep. I had to wake up at like two o'clock in the morning to make my flight. I slept like two hours. And I have no idea what to expect in uh, in Little Rock. I mean, I know it's the, uh, the capital, right? I associate it with uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton. I know Arkansas has some great basketball teams back in the air. You know, Corliss Williamson. The football team stole our football coach, Brett Bielema. Hi. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. See you. So yeah, what do I know? It's the, uh, let me turn this microphone around. It's the capital. I know it's uh, synonymous with the Clintons. I always like these, by the way. Check these out. It's great marketing by Delta. You know, Walmart is in Bentonville. They've had some great basketball teams. The football teams are mediocre. They still have a Wisconsin football coach, which I'm glad because he sucks. He's done a horrible job at Arkansas. But I really don't know what to expect, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Anything that's new and a novelty and unknown and unexplored is uh, is exciting to me. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna get on this flight and take another nap, and we're gonna do this. You guys may be able to get to do your thing, but I'm probably going to just get outside on the whole way. Okay. We'll double check that if it gets lumped enough up there to do shops. Good job, sir. Thank you. Pretty awful. Yeah, it looks like a mom. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, a first class flyer should be the most efficient. They should be the most proficient. They should be the most in depth. They take forever to settle in, as you just saw. I mean, how long did it take me to get to my seat? Two seconds? I don't know. It takes forever to settle in. Um, anyway, you had some first hand information. Uh, you probably overheard the captain speaking to the main flight attendant. It's going to be a bumpy ride the whole way through. I'm going to be sleeping the whole way, hopefully, so it's not going to affect me, but um, rarely do you see that type of interaction where the pilot is uh, warning the flight attendant that he might not even be able to get out of his seat because it's going to be so bumpy. Hopefully we make it, and uh, I'm going to go to bed, and uh, I'll check in when I get there. All right, let's do Little Rock. Look at this hair. This hair is awful. All right, I'm out. Just landed in Little Rock. It's my first time at this airport, first time in this state. Uh, if you're envisioning what this airport looks like, let me flip it around for you. All right, so this is Little Rock. No direct flights from either San Diego, Santa Ana, or LAX, by the way. So it took the entire day to get here. I think I woke up at three, left at four. My flight left at 6.45 and it's now 5 p.m. And uh, and here we are. Here's the beautiful Little Rock Airport. I'll just go down here and give you a quick purview. That's the actual plane that came on right there. All right, good old Delta. Gonna make my way to baggage claim. Then we're gonna jump in an Uber and we're staying at the Little Rock Marriott. It's right downtown. I think it's by the river. Um, there's some flooding going on here. I'm not sure if this is the specific river that is uh, affected by it or not but i'm excited uh this hotel looks to be in a good area i didn't get too much sleep because i was up really early so i'm probably going to get there take a nap but hopefully find uh, either a good bar or a good restaurant to watch the uh watch the game at tonight so i'm gonna make my way down there and i'll check in later walking into marriott something going on let's see what this is like So we'll take a tour of this place later. It looks like there's a lot going on here. It looks like there's a convention center down there. And they got some TVs and stuff over there. Uh, have a really, really cool fountain here. All right, let's check this out. I like this. And then here's a quick preview of the uh, bar slash steakhouse. Let's try to find these elevators. 
And if you've been reading the news or talking to some people from Arkansas, this river is flooded. I grew up on the Mississippi. I don't mean to downplay um, or, or sound insensitive. This to me is nothing. The Mississippi River used to take out banks and banks and banks of homes. This to me actually looks okay, but they're making a big deal about it in Arkansas, and it probably is for them. All right, let's find out our room. Let's find our room here. Cool decor. I like it, it's modern. Ooh. There's that same fountain, you see it down there? So here we are, 17 floors up. Nice high floor. There goes that elevator back down. The property smells new, it's, it smells fresh. These materials look new. The paint looks new. She said it was a decent room. I don't believe I received an upgrade this time. But my preference is to stay on a higher floor, more towards the end, because there's less traffic. All right, let's check out this room. It smells really clean. The wallpaper is new. And I've mentioned this in a few previous vlogs, um, hotel reviews, that wallpaper is making a comeback. It's actually really expensive, this good textured stuff is, and I, I really like it. I prefer it over paint. Okay, uh, so here's the initial purview when you walk in. You got your bathroom right here. All right, we can take a sneak peek in here. And I'll go through this in a second. And I'll just do a quick initial walk around. Bath, nice, that's happening. Okay. Coffee maker. And then here's the room. And here's the thing with the Marriott. The actual Marriott brand is, their, is Marriott's core brand. You're guaranteed to have a bar, a restaurant, Full service menu. Um, what I mean by that is full service dining and um, all the amenities, right? Dry cleaning and things like that. So you're going to get full service at a Marriott. That is their core brand for service. And it gets better above that. Ritz Carlton, St. Regis, things like that. But Marriott is going to guarantee you, dare I say, a four star experience where you're going to get a nice bed, a nice room, a bar, a restaurant, dry cleaning, on site amenities, things like that. Okay, nonetheless, let's quickly get into this room. So, nice little L couch right here. Nice for sitting or if you have some people over or if you're staying with more than one or two people, somebody could certainly sleep here for the night. Bed looks really comfortable. I feel like I say that all the time, but I don't stay in a lot of bad hotels. So the beds are usually pretty comfortable. Um, they don't differ too much. Remember the one in Miami, or sorry, Fort Lauderdale, the the W Fort Lauderdale had one of the softest beds I've ever been on, period. Just not in a hotel, but period. All right, so let's take a look at this room real quick. Uh, where should we start? Why don't we start with the bathroom? Each different Marriott brand has different personal products. So these use um, Thon, and these are actually pretty good. I used to have... An ex-girlfriend of mine who used to love this stuff. She used to beg me to take this stuff home. It was one of her favorites, the Thon brand. If you need to look show ready and you need to look immaculate, there's certainly a lot of ways to check yourself out. You got a full length mirror here and it's very, very wide. All right. And you got your makeup close up mirror right here. And then you have a mirror right here when you're getting ready. Nice, classy sink, Kohler. Good quality. I like it. Okay. I like these lights. They kind of look kind of Roman Catholic, uh, or should I say Italian? I like these a lot. The bath is standard size. This is some type of, this is tile. It looks like wood, but it's tile. But really well done, I like it. I like the woodsy feeling here. I like the darks, it's comfortable. Only two towels. All right, only two towels. They should have more than that. I mean, I go through more than two towels in a day, so 
Um, at a Marriott, you should have more than that, but I'm not going to dock any points. Let's move on. All right, change of plan. I just woke up, and I woke up about 8.45, 9 o'clock, and uh, I think the restaurant closes at 10 p.m., which means they probably stop serving food at 9.30. So I'm going to do something irregular. I'm going to go down to the restaurant, get some food, have a couple drinks, let that settle, and then hopefully go to the gym. I've been a little derelict on the gym lately, and I really, really want to go check this one out. So I'm hoping I can do both tonight. You know, typically eating a large meal and having some drinks, it's kind of counterintuitive to working out, but I'm hoping I can do it. So we're gonna go downstairs. Uh, the, the steakhouse bar looked really, really cool. So we're gonna walk by. Let's go try to uh, go to the restaurant and get some food. And it looks, Let's see if we can get a seat at the bar. Let's see here. All right, so this one is the making waves. Uh, Rum Haven coconut, pineapple, vanilla, and lime. All right, so this uh, this making waves is like a taste of the islands. This is like being in Cancun or, or Tahiti. This thing is unbelievable. Um, I can't believe I'm getting this drink in Arkansas. It is so good. If you like sweet drinks, if you like pina coladas or mai tais or um, basically any tropical drink that's making waves, absolutely recommended. It, it's delicious. All right, so here we have the dry rubbed pork belly. Uh, it says Arkansas on it. So like a moth to a flame, I ordered it. Uh, I try to order anything local. I'm not sure if this is a local dish or not, but they put the state name on there, so I ordered it. There it is. Okay, it looks like it has great texture. I mean, it certainly is pork belly. Um, there is the top of the dish, and I flipped one over on its side so you can see its flavor profile. Uh, really succulent. I had a taste of the barbecue sauce, it's really delicious. So it's a seven spice rub with Bloody Mary barbecue sauce. All right, so there's that. And then I also ordered the Wagyu beef brisket sliders. They have red onion jam and Bloody Mary barbecue sauce. So both these have the Bloody Mary barbecue sauce. And, and what I'll end up doing is um, a total coolest move. Fries are okay, a little cold. So whenever you get these sliders, it's a life hack right here. Whenever you get these sliders, ooh, and those are beef brisket. See, that's a nice portion of meat, but it's not hearty enough. So what you wanna do is you wanna stack these together like that, okay. Now, now we have a proper slider. So here we have the sliders. There's the pork belly. And I'll check in later. I'm halfway through both of these. And at my first bite of this, I was underwhelmed. But this, this grows on you. All right, um, this thing is succulent, it's buttery. This thing melts in your mouth like it was a piece of like uh, paraffin wax. It is so good. However, it is not as good as this double stacked um, Wagyu slider. It is amazing, okay? It's absolutely amazing. Um, both are good, you can't go wrong with either. If I were to rank them, um, you have to stack these on top of each other or you don't get enough of the taste of the of the wagyu but this is number one and then um, this is a close number two this is some really 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 good pork belly once you get halfway through watch me watch me open this for you up right here I mean it is pork belly central right I mean it is succulent straight up juicy 
All right, lab crumb cocktail, lemon zest, flash fried basil. The crab cocktail was good. A hefty portion. Sometimes on crab cocktails, it's stringy. This one was a full plate, it's dense. I'll probably end up finishing it. It was fresh. It was, it's coolest to prove, especially from a guy from San Diego uh, where seafood is very prevalent. This is really good. I dipped into the potatoes like a short rib already. I couldn't hold off. Um, we can dig into a short rib together right now. You can always tell a short rib is good if you can cut it with a fork, all right? Which, which you can, is unbelievable. The short rib is excellent. The first bite was exquisite. It's juicy um, and has enough fat in it. It's cooked perfectly. Thank Again, you. when you can cut your meat with a fork, it's typically indicative of quality. <laughs> and it's not overwhelmed with sauce either. You can see there's just a drizzle on it. Most of the flavor is from the short rib itself. It's a really, really good cut of beef. Let's see what they say about the short rib on it here. Certified Black Angus short rib. Mashed potatoes, red wine beer sauce. Again, as you can see, there's not a lot of sauce on there. Um, I'd say by far, this is the recommendation on the menu. Number one for sure. All right, and here is the piece daily recess notes. This is the dessert. This is the brownie. Um, it looks to be pretty simplistic in its, in its uh, presentation. Um, the brownie's soft and then it's a la mode with ice cream on top of it. So. Bye guys. It, enjoy Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, Follow me at Coolest. Bye. Pleasure to meet you. So, um, it's served a la mode. I was on a phone call so I didn't, I didn't get a chance to get to it right away. But I will say, um, even after being here for maybe five minutes, the brownie is, is still relatively soft. So. I'm gonna dig in. Is that named after a local lake here? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so it's, it's Lake Mamel. Uh -huh. so and? It's got pineapple juice, um, blue carousel, peach schnapps, and Malibu. Pineapple juice, blue carousel, peach schnapps, and pineapple juice. Yes, All I right. put a little bit of lime juice in there just to kind of even out the sweetness. Right on. Thank you. I forgot the name of this lake drink. It's, it's off menu. It is, uh, it's scrumptious. It's so good. Uh, favorite drink of the night so far. Again, it's got blue carousel in it, so you know it's gonna be like tropical and sweet and refreshing, but it isn't overly done. It's not overly sugary. And if you come in here, absolutely order this drink. If you like sweet drinks, um, it's off menu. Uh, I'll say the name again because I forgot it, but she just said what it was. But anyway, it is so good. Just ask for the uh, blue carousel off menu drink. Awesome. All right, so this is Heritage Grill. I was just at the bar. I'll give you guys a quick walk around of what this looks like. Um, it's actually a very huge place. Uh, a lot of seating. Looks like they could very well have breakfast here in the morning. Okay, I don't know what's back here. Bathrooms, probably. Yeah, bathrooms. Okay, so a couple of TVs up here. I had the bar over here. All right, this bar is really cool. I like the atmosphere, I like the lights. I like the red bar. Okay. All right, so I'm outside Heritage Grill. It was really good. If you're staying at this um, Marriott in Little Rock, I recommend it. It was awesome. They had a great menu. It was condensed. Um, it was really, really specific, but it was really good. Um, the stars of the show for me was that special drink off menu at the Blue Curacao. That drink was awesome. I think it's called the Lake Mamo, which is named after a local lake or something. It's off menu, but it's the Blue Curacao drink. Make sure you ask for it. And then the short rib was exceptional. And then the better appetizer of the two, they both were really, really good, uh, was the Wagyu slider. Awesome. Let's take a quick walk around this lobby while we can. So as you can see, Heritage Grill, steak and thin. I love the tall ceilings on this place. This is a really, really nice Marriott. 
Um, love the flooring, love the high ceilings. I like talking a little louder because I can hear myself. Looks like they have some memorabilia outside right here. I'm not sure what this is indicative or symbolic of, but it's great presentation. Okay. Let's see what we got going on down here. Wow, this place is huge. I can walk you guys down here. Why not? We can take a look at some art on the wall. Artwork is available through purchase through PayPal or by using the contact information below. So I'm just going to walk by this. If there's anything that I find interesting, I'm going to stop and talk about it. But some cool art looks to be mainly of Arkansas. But who knows? But as you can see, this is a really big hotel. I like big conference hotels because they seem to have a lot of amenities. That right there is not Arkansas. I can tell you right now that that is Venice. All right. Looks like we have some mallards right there. Pier 39. Take a, looks like we have a barber shop right here. Looks like a proper barber shop as well. Collar, text, and reservations. Straight razor shave, traditional head shave, gentleman's cut, beard grooming, clean up style, and go. I get my hair cut every single week. Just like football players, I get my hair cut every single Friday, every single Saturday. I stay show ready at all times. But I'm almost tempted to come in here. Uh, this place looks really, really nice. proper you see salons you see a lot of spas this is a straight-up barber shop and it's called Obercrom established 2018 so it's brand new looks awesome all right let's just make our way down this way real quick see what else is here we think we have some more paintings this is cool I really 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 want to touch it that's kind of a, a faux pas and sacrilegious when it comes to art. $2,600. That seems like a steal to me. I'm no art guy. But this is really, really cool. You got to see this texture if I can get up close. It is so cool. All right. And then we have a moose and a rainbow. And it looks like this is the end of the rainbow. La Partite Rocher. I'm not sure what this is. Let's explore together. This is huge. All right, that's where we just were. Let's take a walk down this way. Here we should have an overview of the lobby, which we do. So here's a nice big overview of the lobby. Nice sitting area, a couple TVs. So my time at the Marriott has concluded at six o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm giving you my final overview. I probably one of the coolest spots in the, uh, in the hotel, uh, which is this fountain. Uh, and uh, here are my final thoughts on the hotel. Number one, it's the best Marriott I've stayed at since I can recall. Maybe the best ever. Now I'm talking Marriott Marriott. Not Marriott and all of its subsidiary brands. Um, not the umbrella Marriott ecosystem, but the actual Marriott, okay? The Marriott moniker, it's the best Marriott I've stayed at since I can remember, if not ever. And I found out last night why it's the best Marriott. Um, Marriott just bought this property. It's an old Peabody Hotel. And if you've stayed at a Peabody Hotel, and if you know about Peabody Hotels, they're, they're pretty exquisite. They're really, really nice, all right? And they, they used to let the ducks out in the lobby. They used to keep ducks on the roof. I guess that's why this fountain is right here, okay? I've stayed at the Peabody in Orlando. Um, I think there could be one in Nashville as well. I, I, I'm probably misspeaking on that. I know that there's one uh, in Orlando for sure, and it's amazing. 
And this is an XP body too, and that's why it's so good. I'll take it to another level. This is not even a Marriott. This is like a JW Marriott status hotel. So um, if you're looking for an amazing hotel to stay at in Little Rock, th this is it. Um, now, there's one detriment, there's one downfall. It's a convention hotel, okay? It's a convention hotel, which means it's absolutely busy all the time. I waited for elevators um, early in the morning at 6 a.m., 8 a.m., and then late 5 p.m., 7 p.m. is absolutely atrocious, okay? So if you're looking for more of a private vacay, or if you're looking for more of a, of a, of a secluded type of stay, you want to stay away from this property because this place is inundated with people. There are people all over to the point where it really kind of hampered my ability to get around the hotel. I mean, just getting outside in the lobby and walking around, always people were just coming in and out of, of the lobby constantly, people in the elevators constantly. You can see, you know, there's, there's just people everywhere. So that's the only detriment. It wouldn't stop me from staying here again. I would stay here again um, 100%. However, um, if you're looking for an amazing Marriott hotel, um, an exquisite Marriott hotel, you can't go any further than the, than the Little Rock. It was absolutely awesome. I and mean, look at these pillars. I mean, look how grandiose this, this entrance is. Um, this is this is an amazing, amazing Marriott uh, because it's a Peabody. But uh, it, it, it was an awesome stay. This um, I think this the heritage, right? This restaurant bar was awesome. The room was great. Marble everywhere. Um, everything is new. It, 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 it was a fantastic stay. Um, so it is a coolest definite. If you're if, if you're in uh, if you're in Little Rock, you definitely have to stay here at least once. Again, there's only one small caveat. Nothing in life is perfect. There's one small caveat is that you're gonna deal with a ton of people. It's a huge hotel. It's a, it's a convention center hotel. But I couldn't think of another place to stay. I haven't ventured out in Little Rock a ton, um, so I haven't stayed at the other properties. But uh, I mean, this 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 X Peabody Hotel, current Marriott Hotel, was uh, was marvelous. And if I have to book in Little Rock again, I'm certainly booking here. Okay, it's 6:10 a.m. and my Uber's here. I need to get back to Southern California. Next week I'm off. I'm gonna do a ton of video editing. I'm gonna post a ton of videos for you guys. And then the week after, I'm in Scottsdale. And then I go right from Scottsdale to Chicago, and we're gonna have a lot of fun in both cities. But right now, I gotta catch my Uber and my flight uh, back to Southern California. All right, it's coolest. I'm out.